guys, it's Georgia and welcome to today's video where I have part two of my Q&A. Basically, I just got an overwhelming amount of questions and I wanted to answer them all, so I decided to break this Q&A up into two parts. Thank you all for sending me your questions. This one is going to be specifically Snapchat questions. I did answer a few in my last Q&A, so if your question wasn't answered in this video, then it will be in the previous one. So go and check that out if you haven't already. But without further ado, let's jump in and start answering your questions because I am so excited right now. First question I have is from Kate and she said, what was it like at schoolies? So schoolies was legit the best time of my life. Schoolies was so much fun. I definitely recommend it. And it's not even as bad as everyone like makes it out to be. Like I know a lot of parents are like freaking out, but like it's seriously so good. Like there's people everywhere. There's just people partying, wanting to have fun. There's police everywhere. There's red frogs everywhere. There's people there to help you legit everywhere and your friends are all there, everyone's having a good time, everyone just wants to celebrate and it's such a good atmosphere, it's just, it's so much fun, I loved it. Like all the bad things that were on the news, I didn't even see any of them, like I didn't even see people like arguing with each other while I was there, like it was just so fun, I loved it, I loved schoolies. Next question is from Laura and she said, why did you decide to start YouTube and what are your plans for uni? So like I said in my last video for uni next year, I am planning on doing doing an arts degree and using that as um, a pathway to get into the course that I really want to do which is speech pathology. Why did I start my YouTube channel? I started it purely just because I wanted like another hobby. I loved makeup and beauty stuff. I loved watching YouTube videos so one day I was just like why not make one and it turned out all right. So <laughs> that's led me to where I am here today. I legit just love it and I love interacting with people. I love meeting new people. And I just like having fun, so that's legit what YouTube is. The next question is from Kiara, and she said, Who do you miss most from school? Have you held hands with a boy? This is my friend Kiara, so yeah, I have held hands with a boy. It was gross. And, <laughs> and who do you miss most from school? And probably, not gonna lie, I miss some of my teachers. The teachers at my school were just so good. Like, I loved my teachers. And obviously there's like a few people not necessarily like my close friends, like I do miss seeing them every day. It's mainly people that like you would talk to every day, but just because you were like in the same classes and stuff, if that makes sense. So I had like a lot of friends like that that were just in like a bunch of my classes and so I would talk to them all the time, but now because I don't, I'm not like forced to see them, I don't see them. And so I do kind of miss those people. My friend Rosie sent me a message and she said, is Rosie the best person you've ever met in your life? Damn right she is. Rosie is an absolute legend, I tell ya. Next question is from Eliza and she said, what was your favorite part of year 12 or high school? My favorite part would have probably been the end where it was legit just a week of celebrations. There's this one particular day um, where my whole grade went to Wet n Wild which is like a water park theme park type thing and we all went and had like such a good day like it was legit just a day of so much fun lots of happiness everyone was like chilled everyone's celebrating because we would legit finished high school and it was so good and that was legit one of the best parts, but formal was also really good. Formal was like one of the best nights of my life. Oh, next question is from Rachel and she has a picture. Oh, it has to load. Hold up. What was your craziest schoolies experience? I love you. Oh my god, I legit love Rachel so much. So the craziest thing that happened at schoolies didn't actually happen to me, but it happened to one of my friends. Okay. We got my friend lost, well we didn't really do it, but basically she got really drunk, she went out one night and um, she lost her phone somewhere, she went to one of like the underage clubs that they have at schoolies and she lost her phone and then one thing led to another, the people that she was with, she wasn't actually with like our group of friends, they walked her home I think, but then she saw someone that, I don't really understand the story, but basically some dude that was like going to the same hotel as her he like took her back um to their hotel and she couldn't get up to her room where she was staying like her floor so she just ended up crashing with them but because she didn't have a phone she hadn't like contacted any of our group of friends she hadn't contacted like her mum and stuff and so no one knew where she was and it was just it was 
crazy and then we all woke up the next morning and we we're like where is she what happened to her no one's heard from her and we didn't know what had happened to us so we all like panicked and yeah i had like friends who went and were like looking everywhere for her and they like made a police statement and everything like filed a missing persons report and it was really intense the details still confuse my brain but that was pretty hectic i know we can like look back on it now and laugh but like at the time like that was like pretty scary like when I think about it now I'm like that was that was intense dude next question is from Lily and she said tips on fake tan boys and school love you Georgia oh you're so pretty dang but um tips on damn it I've forgotten I have the worst memory tips on fake tan boys and school fake tan boys school my tips on fake tan is probably look after your tan to like prolong the wear of it. Boys, I say stick away from them. There are a lot of boys out there that cause a lot of trouble and are just a bit of a nuisance and they're really immature because everyone knows that boys are a lot more immature than girls are. But in saying that, there are some really good ones out there and if you do find them, hold on to them. I think you just have to be careful and don't waste too much time and don't like spend so much time trying to find a boy. Boys are like pointless especially when you're young you just need to enjoy yourself if it happens it happens but try not to get caught up in them and the other one was school and I say try your hardest biggest tip just put your all into everything do as much as you can because one day it's gonna be over and you don't want to look back and wish you did things next question is from Lily and she said how are schoolies and what are you planning on doing now that you've finished school so as I've said schoolies was the bomb I love schoolies recommend schoolies it's so good and now that I've finished school I'm planning on looking after myself a bit more because I was so stressed and like so busy that I kind of forgot to look after myself so I'm getting myself back to where I want to be. I'm creating the life that I want. Next question is from Wyatt and do's and don'ts of a relationship. Really, really Wyatt. Okay, I'm gonna say number one do is always be honest no matter whether you think the truth is gonna hurt or whatever because honesty is the best policy. And massive don't is don't cheat, don't be a dickhead, don't be stupid, use your brain and have common sense. That's legit the gist of a relationship next is a question from courtney oh my god courtney okay i met this girl courtney at schoolies and she like watches my videos and she was the loveliest person ever and if she's watching this video right now i just want to shout out to you courtney because you're seriously the most beautiful human ever and i love you so much and i think she just sent me a question she said hey georgia love you so much what's your fave schoolies memory I love her. I love you, Courtney. Okay, so my favorite memory of schoolies was probably getting a little bit tipsy and going to the beach party, having fun with friends. That was probably like the main part. It wasn't like, there wasn't like a specific moment where I was like, oh my God, this is the best thing ever. It was just like the whole thing. Like it's just a week of like having so much fun. It was so good. And like my friends, we split up our time. So we went to the sunny coast first and then we went to the Gold Coast and it was so much fun. And it was so good. And my friends and just everyone was in a good mood and it was just, it was so good. I'm gonna do schoolies again. Next is a question from Gabby and she said, who is your fave grade eight? Lol. Where is one place you want to travel to? I think there's more questions, but I'm gonna hold off because my brain sucks. The main place that I want to travel to is the Maldives or oh, I really want to go to Bali. Oh my God, somebody take me to Bali. But I just really want to travel anywhere. All the Greek islands, I've always wanted to go to Santorini. Her last question is, who was your favorite teacher in school? And I don't know if I can name the teacher but I will call her Mrs. P and she was legit my second mother at school she helped me through so much like I had a few rough moments in my schooling life and she helped me through she was always there every day well she wasn't there every day but she was there most of the time and she was just always there to help me always had like a loving caring atmosphere about her and she's just so beautiful and I love her next question is from Chasey hi my friend um what has been your most memorable moment this year so far well this year's not your far but yeah <laughs> oh my 
god, Chase, you're a cracker. Uh, my most memorable moment, I'm gonna have to say formal. I know I've said it like three times in this video alone, but formal is just an un forgettable night like th there's nothing that compares to your formal next question is do you have any regrets in school or anything in general sorry a bit deep but just thought it might be interesting and this is a very good question I actually don't have any regrets purely because I think all of the things that I've done in my life have made me into the person I am today like I've obviously made some bad decisions in my life but like that has helped me learn things that I know now and that I'm like able to use now. If there was anything I regret, it was probably giving some people or like friends um, in school the time of day. Obviously I'm not like friends with them. I just wish I was smart enough to like maybe get out of their friendship a little earlier. I wish I had the guts to get out of some relationships a lot faster. Next question says, oh, hey girl, I'm a huge fan. I have a question for your video. What's something you wish someone told you about high school? This is a good question. I wish someone really drilled into me from the beginning that high school doesn't last forever because I feel like I definitely treasured high school the closer I got to the end and I wish I like treasured it the whole way along but I guess that's sort of everyone and I also wish someone told me that boys aren't everything because girls waste so much time on boys in high school and it's really not worth it like you got better things to do and another question from Georgia is what are your plans for the holidays until I go back to uni I'll go back to uni I haven't even started uni from now until I start uni I am going on a trip to Byron at the end of this week other than that I'm just spending time with family friends having a good time but yeah just having fun and kicking it until I go to New Zealand which will be super duper exciting on the 15th of January um, I leave for a two-week cruise around New Zealand so I'm so excited to go to New Zealand I wanted to go there for ages and that my friends brings us to the end of this Q&A I have no idea how long this is gonna be but hopefully it's not too long and thank you for letting me break this Q&A into two parts because I love Q&As and I just really, really wanted to answer all your questions. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you to everyone that asked me questions. Don't worry, I am going to be doing another Q&A very soon. So if you didn't get a chance to ask me a question, you're going to have another shot. But make sure you follow me on social media, especially Snapchat. Snapchat's like the main place where I ask you guys for questions. So that's it for me today. I will see you guys all very, very soon. Bye.